Today we're buying toys for Pillow and Pearl. These ones are like look at this one in the front. He's like pastel. That's so neat. And some of these are like almost pure white. Wow. What's gonna be a good new toy for Pillow and Pearl? What about this one? That's a giant, huge, expensive one. What about this? This is kind of Get him a shoe. <laughs> oh, it's a girl toy. Oh. I want that fuzzy. This thing? Yeah, you get that for pillow? Yeah. Fuzzy. So we'll put this one back. What about this one for pearl? Um, hmm. Think that's good? Yeah. Alright, so we'll get that for pillow and this for pearl. So now we are gonna go home and pick up Pearl to go to Omar's and get her nails trimmed. Go. We're gonna go on a little ride. It's gonna be so fun. We're on to Omar. <laughs> We're here. Daddy's gonna get you excited. out. Oh. Are you excited? Oh yeah, getting your nails trimmed. There's nothing <laughs> more fun than that. <laughs> Wicker. A bell, a cowbell. More cowbell. Oh my goodness! It's like a pineapple it's like or something. A durian. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one has a quiche bow on it. Now let's get the pillow. All right, let's get. We're gonna get one thing for pillow. What should we get for pillow? Yeah. You want to help us get something for pillow? I already This one's cool. Yeah, see, look at it. It has um, a quacky face. A quacky face. This one has shoestrings. That's different. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So we are back. So I'm going to reveal the gifts that Brendan and Pearl have picked out for Pearl and Pillow from Petco, we ended up with this for Pearl. It's got lots of little things that she can chew on. It's got a little bell. And it's definitely large enough. We can hang it in her cage. This is for you. This is your new toy. You haven't seen this yet. Yeah. And then for a pillow, Brendan picked out this. Looks like a little broom. A little sweepy broom. And in addition, we happened to get these extra bird bird waterers. 
Uh, this one apparently was already open and we're just hoping it's okay. We found a cheaper price online and they price matched it, so we got them for not very much money. And although we do switch their water out every day and more than once a day if it gets particularly dirty, um, these are just an extra option. It's, it's very difficult for water to get dirty in these. Because the little trough is so narrow, a lot of you know seeds and stuff can't get in there the way obviously they can in a larger dish. And then from Omar's, Pearl picked out for herself this. It's a sort of a mess of rope and little wooden blocks and things to chew on. Are you listening to Pillow over there? We'll go see Pillow in a minute. So this is nice and sturdy for her. And then for Pillow, we picked out this. It's large, but it's it's very lightweight. These are little rubbery kind of things. And he's had another toy with these wooden these little wooden plates before and he's chewed them all up so he definitely likes chewing on wood and of course it has a little bell which he loves his little bells this was a good this was a good choice in addition we happened to find cozy corners which we don't have any of these i don't know how the birds are exactly going to take to them but they're just little like little fuzzy blankets that you i guess tie up in the corner of the cage and they can snuggle in there and feel at home. They can feel warm and protected and I don't know. We'll see. We'll do an update on these and see how, how the birds react to them. And we have colorful bombs. Then some stuff for the bottom of the cage, a little rainbow ball. Yeah. What else do we get? So right. what we have here are millet things. We put millet inside and um they can forage for it, right? Yeah they can forage. Yeah, these are super these are super thin and lightweight. You put little treats inside and they can chew them right up, chew straight through and get to the millet. So that'll be fun, right? It makes a big mess, but it's fun for them. They're Chinese yeah. finger traps. Yes, they're Chinese finger traps. That's what they officially are. Ready? Ah! My fingers are trapped! Actually they're not. <laughs> what else should we get? What is this thing? It looks like what would go in the in the middle of a big roll of tape. It's just something to roll, they can roll it around and chew on it. We've got another one of these. This is something else you can wedge a treat in there if you can fit it in. They can chew that up. The last thing we have is a little cube. It's a wooden block? Yeah. What's on it? Why'd you pick a it? A bug. A bee, right? Yeah. Of course, Brendan would pick something with a bug on it. It's good to switch out your bird's toys every so often so they can continue to be stimulated and have new things to experience and just like people and children and you know giving them new toys and new things to experience is a positive thing right mm -hmm. yeah she's, she's totally into all this oh and one more thing i clearly forgot to mention when we were at omar's we got pearl's tail plucked not all of it obviously but some of her broken feathers they asked if we wanted to have them plucked out so that new feathers could grow in and we said sure that's actually been um, suggested to us in the comments but we were afraid to do it ourselves because we don't really know what we're doing and we didn't want to just start yanking feathers out and there's all the fear of you know getting a blood feather and all that other stuff that we just weren't comfortable dealing with but having a knowledgeable professional do it it only took about we didn't even get it on camera it only took about 10 seconds she just worked a couple of little feathers out and so now pearl will hopefully just be able to grow in some nice new stronger tail feathers so pearl is officially not a stump butt because she has one legit tail feather and her flight feathers are growing out a little bit too they're t slightly uneven, but she doesn't seem to have any trouble flying, so we're not worried about that right now. And they told us at Omar's that uh, baby birds, their feathers are thinner and not as strong, mm -hmm. and so they tend to break also because they're clumsy, but when they new tail feathers or feathers grow in, they're stronger and bigger, right? And they did ask us if we wanted to have her wings trimmed, but we said no because we were letting them grow on So she can fly like a normal she can bird. Fly like a bird. So hopefully this will be the first of many nice new strong tail feathers. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye. All of us. Bye 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 bye.